Hi there, it's Ivan and you're watching Puzzle Guy channel. It's been about 10 days since Pelican released their new puzzles and I think it is time to start solving them. And I'm gonna start with Pumpkin 2. This puzzle was designed by Asanori Yamamoto and made obviously by Pelican. This puzzle comes in two different versions. The first one is made of Honduran mahogany and Fenge and the second one is made of Honduran mahogany and Jadwa. This puzzle has three uh, parts in the frame. Uh, all three parts have unique shape and the frame looks like this. There is a big opening on one side and a small opening on the other side. Since this puzzle comes uh, unsolved, uh, as you can see, there are parts sticking out the frame, the inside just in a random way. So you have to uh, assemble uh, all parts inside the frame first and then remove them again to complete the solution. I've solved this puzzle the first day when I got it from Pelican about three weeks ago and I recorded my attempt to solve the puzzle and I will show it to you just in a couple of seconds. If you like uh, Pumpkin 2 puzzle and you want to buy it, link is going to be in the video description as always and if you want to see my attempt to solve the puzzle, keep watching the video. And now let's try to solve Pumpkin 2 puzzle designed by Asano Yamamoto. I'll start my stopwatch first and let's see i have a feeling that i can solve this puzzle probably under five minutes since i've solved very similar puzzles and i know exactly which part i have to use to fit in this cutout on the back so the frame looks like this and the cutout on the back looks like this and i'm pretty sure this piece supposed to go like this and all the way stick out there and then I have to figure out which parts I have to use next so this piece is going to be here as always I'm going to start with trying to assemble the cube outside the frame so for example this piece goes here and probably Oh, that looks like right that looks like from the first attempt i've been able to find the right shape okay let's try to imagine how i can remove these parts so now no i don't think it is the correct one since if i put them like this i'm not going to be able to move even one piece okay let's try something else what if I do it like this and it's still going to be the same yes yeah, oh well, maybe maybe the previous one was correct but I didn't realize it so if the this cube is inside the frame so I can move this piece out then this piece can go up this piece I can move to the left and this piece will go all the way down and slide out there. And what is going to be my next move? Next move is going to be probably this here. Okay, now I don't know what to do next. So let's try like this. So this piece goes to the front, then goes this up like this then this piece goes all the way down and there next what i can do i can move this piece to the left and that's it but also i can move this piece to the right and one step up this goes down I can move it here and this room. Okay, so probably this is the right solution. So this piece goes inside. This piece, oh, I'm, I forgot how it's supposed to be, I think like this. It goes inside and this piece, I have to put it here. It goes down, this goes here. Next, what is the next move? Okay, this goes here, this goes down to the left. Now I can move the bottom piece up. 
this goes here and that's it okay as i told you it was less than five minutes to assemble now i have to take it apart but i don't think it's going to be difficult okay let's see this goes here uh, which piece goes next i think this piece goes up now this to the left this goes to the back side now i have to move this here up no, this goes to the front this goes to the top i can remove this part this part and i have to remove the last piece okay that was quite easy at least for me four with a half minutes to assemble it and take it apart so that was the pumpkin 2 puzzle and that was my attempt to solve pumpkin 2 puzzle as you could see i've been able to do it pretty quick and that's because of the small cutout on the back side of the frame i knew exactly which piece i have to use uh, to put in that hole uh, in order to move all other parts and when i uh, found this piece it was quite easy to put two other pieces in a right position to assemble the cube shape outside the frame and then it was pretty easy to figure out the way how to move parts in order to fit them inside the frame so it was easy for me just because i have experience solving asano Yamamoto puzzles uh, and i've solved probably three or four similar puzzles that have a uh, small cutout on the back side of the frame all of them have kind of similar idea but if you don't have experience in solving such kind of puzzles probably it's going to take you at least i don't know 15 20 minutes to figure out the way how to solve the puzzle so if you like this beautiful looking and extremely well-made puzzle and you want to buy it link is going to be in a video description as always and if you enjoyed watching my video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload new video. See you next time.